Hi, welcome back. I'm Darren with Norstead Landscaping. Whoa, Nelly. Now you just sent me a message or a comment saying that you can upgrade the wheels from a PT60, a 2008 PT60, to the newer style wheels like these intermediate ones here. Because I was going to do a video on this, I had a really good fix for the original wheels uh, for the earlier machines that really made this obsolete like seriously if you are considering going upgrade to these wheels if you looked at my uh, last video of the rt60 the 2017 that i had the axle repair i had to do on that these wheels are really hard to work on these are bigger bearings and the idea is that uh and replace them because they these were beefier that was the concept i mean they're good wheels and even the PT60 had these same wheels on the back here and also the same hubs on the front. So they were great wheels because they last a long time. Um, now, if you're buying the older machines, yes, you're going to have to work on them, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to try and help you with uh, uh, explaining what I did, the fix that I did, and it worked really good. That's that enough. So first off, let's pretend uh, I'll throw up an image of the original wheel, there's an easy fix for it. And the big problem was there's a washer similar to this, but much bigger. It would sit, they had it on the shaft and sitting loosely in behind the wheel on the original PT60. And what that would do is as the wheel would turn <clears throat> and dirt got in there, that the, the intention of the washer was to knock out rocks from, from getting jammed in the rail and between the rail and the, and the wheel. And the back of the wheel was plastic. Uh, the center had the hub in it, but the this part of the wheel was plastic. So what would happen is rocks would get jammed in there, and uh, sometimes this washer would get pinched up in between it, but it would wear the back of the plastic wheel right down to the point where this clip would get worn right off completely. And this what holds all the guts into the wheel on the back side, and the wheel would just fall off. So what I did for people that are thinking that these wheels are not are useless, you might think that, and I did too, but I found a way to fix them and this it was very simple. So what I did was I would take that washer. Now this isn't the washer cuz the washer is probably about 3 times the size of this. So just imagine that this is much bigger. And this would sit on the shaft and just sit in there loosely. So what I did was I would uh Basically, I would take this tool here and you're going to need a drill press and what this tool is it just uh, if you were to drill if you were to drill into the washer with this using oil uh, cutting fluid uh, using a drill press you would cut and this would put a uh, nice taper uh, or a countersink hole into the washer now if you do that that will allow you to insert these little screws are not, these are just typical uh, machine screws, metal screws. There we go. Sheet metal screws. You don't need much. They don't have to be beefier. That's all you need. What you would do is uh, you would redo all, re repack all your bearings. You would buy a new seal because the new seal keeps the water out of the wheel. Put everything back together. And of course you wouldn't be able to put this washer or this uh, snap ring back in because the wheel had worn down to the point where this would not, the groove, and you'll see it in the picture, uh, just below the uh, seal, the groove would be, it'd be worn down to that groove that this would not be able to fit in anymore. Now you could put it in just to take up the space, but what you would have to do and uh, is you take some uh, silicone or high temperature uh, gasket maker or anything for that matter uh, seal that area like just put a big bead around it and then sandwich the washer back over the wheel now you would not want to put it center you'd put it off center because as the wheel turns whoops as the wheel turns this would be off center, so it would be oscillating. And what that would do is it would do what it was intentionally a uh, purpose to do is knock the stones out. And you're gonna screw this to the plastic wheel using these screws. You'll see that the uh, the center hub would not uh, go, as, it only goes so far. So after the hub was there, you'd be able to screw this right into the plastic in behind, it was real easy. 
If you hit metal, just shift the wash over so you're missing the metal. Anyhow, so you'd have to make sure that you put your silicone on the back side, sandwich everything back together, screw this to the back of the wheel on this side, and that's it, guys. That fixed uh, pretty much the, the flaw in the original wheels. Now, if you do this, the hardest part is basically getting the hole countersunk. So you can try just putting a straight hole through, but if you countersink these, uh, just less chance of them busting the head off. And what I do, if you wanna know if these are going bad on the original machine, you just wiggle it. If there's any play, the first thing I would do is take the cap off and tighten up the, uh, the nut and see if, the, if it's just you know loose and the nut had backed off or whatever. If I tighten the nut up and it was tight or the play was still there, then your bearings are gone and that was a sign you need to pull the wheel off. And what I would use on the original wheels is I just stick this on, uh, I take that nut off and because they're, they're hard to get off, now this isn't set up, I'd have to change the setting, but you basically get this on the back side of the wheel and then have that here on the hub you, or, or on the nut, you put the nut back on, but loosen it off. So this would not fall off as long as the nut's there. And then you, that would pull the wheel off. And in fact, you could fix this wheel just by, if it was in any of the middle wheels, you just lift the bucket up on the machine. That would lift the track off and you just, you'd have to probably loosen the track off, but then that will allow you to pull the wheel off and service it right there. Uh, use good grease on your bearings. And I guarantee it, if I, if I were to do this again, I would have all these original, you know, these, these are good on the front and the back. But after that, I think ASV made a mistake going to these wheels. And, and the cons, the cons are with these wheels, the parts are much more expensive. So when you have to replace bearings and seals and that hub, if the hub's corroded, uh, that hub's 50 bucks. So... The original wheels only had a seal, two bearings, and uh, you know you might have to buy the washers if you've uh, thrown them out. But to me, it doesn't make sense upgrading these wheels on the older machines. The original ones just weren't designed right the first time, and by doing this fix, you're gonna thank me, I think, in the end. So let me know in the comments down below if you experienced your experiences with the new wheels and versus the old ones. I'd like to hear your feedback on that. Uh, I thought this would be a great video for uh, uh, Wo Nelly, that's a good name, to because uh, he did tell me he was thinking about upgrading to these wheels. And I'll tell you, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, if you do it, that's fine. But I think it, you're gonna you're gonna find it's more expensive. Uh, it's a pain. They're pain in the ass to work on. To be honest with you, I just got done doing the RT60, and I'm, I'm like, I'm wishing I had the old machine because I really didn't have any issues after I did the fix, and and it wouldn't change them all. What I would do is I'd wait until one was loose. I'd wiggle it. Okay, time to do that wheel. And if it still had the washer dangling in behind it, I know I'd never replaced it. And I'll tell you, there was uh, I maybe only replaced uh, half of them. That fell off and I, I did my fix and I never had to do it again. I think I had to uh, repack some bearings on one of the ones I fixed over a course of, uh, was it since 2009 since I owned that machine? And it's been so long ago I can't even remember the last time I pulled one of those original wheels off. Uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Uh, again I'm Darren with Norstead Landscaping and uh, hope you like this video.